Welcome to Vermont Today. I'm Terry Geraldman, your host, and uh, my guest this month is Emma Mulvaney Stanek. Emma is running for uh, city council um, as a progressive candidate in Ward 3. Uh, Emma was in uh, the city council last year. She ran in Ward 2, and um, I, I believe you bought a house uh, in Ward 3, so now you're a resident of Ward 3. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to tell us a little bit about your uh, your campaign and uh, your background? Sure, sure. Um, as you said, I was actually a um, uh, on the city council in 2009 uh, for about 10 months, and uh, in December I was actually looking for a house starting about last summer because of the um, first-time home buyer tax credit on the federal level, and really wanted to take advantage of that and tried hard to find some ha a house to live in in Ward Two and. Um, as anyone who, know, who lives in the Old North End knows, I think Ward 2 it has a really great number of apartments. There's not as many um, single-family houses, so I try as hard as I might. I got to about the end of October and found this house just over the line in Ward 3 and decided, you know, the window of the tax credit was closing quickly, and um, I decided that it was just really too good of a house to give up. So it kept me in the Old North End, which was really important for me. Had a little bit of yard to it, which if anyone, you know, from the Old North End is watching knows it's really um, hard to find a house with some good size uh, backyard to it. Um, so I decided to just, you know, um, as hard as it was, that this was an important move because buying a house is really permanent and, you know, hopefully something else might open in the future and I might be able to, you know, jump back into city government somehow. And, you know, fast forward a couple more months and that opening did present itself. Clarence Davis, who's the uh, current city councilor, um, whose seat is his term is up this year, decided not to run. So um, I threw my hat back in and I'm really excited because, uh, while Ward 2 and 3 are slightly different, Ward 3 covers downtown, I think they share a lot of similar issues. And for me, making sure the City Council continues to have a strong advocate and a strong voice from the Old North End, who is a doer, you know, in terms of taking initiative on issues that face the neighborhood, and is committed to um, being a strong voice to talk about working people's issues in every conversation where it's relevant, which I think is almost every conversation the city government talks about. Um, th those are really so important to me that I really felt like you know jumping back in and, and running again um, was necessary. So I am excited to be running out of Ward 3. I actually have lived in Ward 3 before. Um, I've lived in Burlington for seven years uh, in the Old North End. So for me, it was a, it's a natural fit, and, I'm, and again, I'm excited to you know meet everybody in Ward 3 and um, really reacquaint myself with the issues that face this side of the Old North End um, and move forward. And you know, the other piece that of why I'm running um, is that I, I feel like I started some good initiatives so far on the council the first 10 months, um, which are, again, really around the issues of working people. I, I work for a living um, for a labor union, National Education Association, and for teachers and support staff in public schools. Um, so, you know, that's my day job, and, and I did some initiation or initiatives uh, last year around re looking at the city's livable wage ordinance and revising it. it. Had been on the books for about 10 years and hadn't really been touched um, since then. So uh, when I was on the ordinance committee um, last year, and I've continued to follow it as they've uh, wrapped up their work, you know, going line by line and looking at what really needs to be updated because there's references throughout that really reference old figures from um, in terms of what health insurance used to cost back 10 years ago and other issues like that. So um, that was important for me to make sure that the city was continuing to be committed to um, paying all city workers a livable wage plus people who, who they contract with. Um, so making sure that ordinance was still working was, was quite important to me. And the second initiative that I started, also kind of on the theme of um, working people's issues, was getting a resolution introduced and passed around the Moran redevelopment plant and having the city council go on record to um, uh, commit ourselves to responsible contractor provisions, which essentially just means um, making sure that we are pro um, providing good paying jobs that pay livable wages and health care, um, and also hopefully hire local, uh, local contractors, local workers, so that we're really investing in our own economy and not bringing in just you know, the lowest contractor we can find, lowest costing contractor we can provide that might be from Massachusetts or somewhere out of Vermont, so that Moran really becomes an economic engine um, that also trains people in the, in the process. So long story short, I, just, I have a lot of things I started, and I'm excited about getting back on the council and continue to move those forward and start some other initiatives. Your new house is on Front Street, I believe. Yes, it is. And the old one was just a few blocks over out next to the Intervale. Yep, yep. So you, you did, really didn't move that far. 
it's funny because I think you know I, it's like a five minute walk from from each place, but you know the charter is very clear that once you um, move out of the ward, whether it's to California or to the you know I guess on the other side of the street, if the line's on the other side of the street, you have to resign your seat. So it feels it feels very close to home. So it's nice to be in basically the same neighborhood. I believe that uh, you grew up in Barrie, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Yes, lovely Barrie city. Yeah, I was born born in uh, Central Vermont in Marshfield, but then uh, raised did all my um, uh, school years in Barrie city. Uh, my parents still live there today. Uh, it has a great labor history, immigrant history, but uh, it's you know it's it's a different place to grow up. Definitely working class. Definitely. Um, you know, has its own struggles, kind of very similar to the old North End, actually, just with the mix of people who are living um, um, in in Barrie and probably falls uh, faces a lot of the same struggles in terms of affordable housing and um, finding good jobs for people. So, you know, it's, it's kind of been my my um, uh, community, I guess you could say, since I was a kid. I go there at least once a year to the uh, old Labor Hall for the uh, uh, annual dinner of the Workers' Center. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I know a little bit about Barry. In fact, I was there on uh, Monday. Mm -hmm. At the Methodist Church, they have what they call uh, an adult swim. Um, and, it, and it includes uh, a lot of teenagers. Mm -hmm. um, here in Burlington last year, we had a, uh, VIA did a survey. Mm -hmm. And one important thing they found that people wanted in the North End was uh, the facilities for uh, young people. Mm -hmm. And uh, this adult swim in uh, in Barrie is a, a wonderful idea. I think that we could uh, import, perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a man there, Paul uh, Flint, and every Monday he, from uh, seven to uh, nine, uh, he sets up the computers, and the local teenagers come in, and he helps them uh, learn how to use the computer. And they really get quite advanced. They download some really advanced programs. So I, I even benefited from from going to it. And picking up some tips from the the younger crowd, huh? About you know good tech, uh, good computer, computer skills. That's great. Yes, Sounds I, I downloaded VirtualBox for my uh, netbook computer. Cool. And they showed me how to use it, and uh, then when I got home, I forgot it and I couldn't use it again. <laughs> so now I have to go back again to, <laughs> to learn more. Yes, yes. yeah, <laughs> that's great. Um, 